Dr. Hashim Mahdi, who is already present, introduced. He's a descendant of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Our Sheikh, our Wasila, at the same time, is a friend of Hadra and Ibrahimia since the life of Sheikh Ibrahim as we all know, Sheikh Ibrahim was one of the founding members of Muslim World League. Our Honorable Sharif he was the Deputy Secretary General of Muslim World League for many years until he became retired but still the Secretary General nominated him as a special advisor and ambassador worldwide. To give him chance to speak and look at his blessed face, whom I learn from a, a noble and top spiritual leaders who says, whoever look at his face he will be successfully entered paradise. Because, believe me, one of the Shurafa of Makkah was close to Sheikh Ibrahim radiallahu ta'ala. He confirmed whoever seen this man or seen him in his dream, he has seen the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam without doubt. It will be difficult for me to say anything about Imam Hassan because of his emotional gathering. And everybody knows how I was close to him. I've been brought up among his family since I was a child. I talk to him, love him, at the same time, always try to copy his noble characters. Sheikh, I will give you the microphone. After then, I will try to do my best to say something and summarize about the life of that noble past Sheikh may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guarantee for him and all of his followers and everybody who loves him Al Jannah. Wa ma zalika ala Allah bi aziz. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Sheikh Fadan. أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين وخاتم النبيين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين والتابعين بإحسان إلى يوم الدين وعلينا معهم برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم علمنا الذي ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا بفضلك علما. Brothers and sisters in Islam, السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. I'm just a humble man coming from the holy part of Mecca, where I was born and brought up. And uh, in this occasion, I convey the greetings of the people of Mecca to you, the people of Medina to you. And uh, in this occasion, 
I give my condolence to you for the death of our Honorable Imam Grand Hassan Sisi. May Allah be pleased with him in paradise. May Allah bring him in the company of his holy prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the martyrs and those who know the truth. To lose a sheikh or to lose an imam is a very, very great catastrophe in me. And Allah has mentioned in the Holy Quran that the earth is disturbed. The earth is losing some of its part when some imam is dead. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in Allah la yantazi'u al-ilm intiza'an wa lakin yantazi'u bimawt al-ulama Allah does not take away knowledge like that by making people forget what they have learned but Allah takes the knowledge away by making the, the scholars, the sheikh, the imams or die. So, the death of imam, the death of scholar, is really the death of knowledge. Hello? May Hello. Allah compensate us. But this is life. We all have to go. Our dearest Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, before he died, Gibrail came to him and told him, Would you like to live forever? Allah said, Allah will make you live forever. But Allah loved to be with you in the hereafter. So then the Prophet Muhammad chose to die. So when man has completed his mission, then death, meeting with the Lord, is really the reward. So we pray to the Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala that to make us all fulfill our mission in life and make us all be satisfied, make us all be satisfied with his destiny and make us all work to the satisfaction of Allah and his Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa now I want to talk about another point in brief. Tonight is the night of the middle of Shaban. Do you know the importance of this night? All our deeds, which we have done throughout the year, tonight it will go to the sky. The good and the bad deeds. Allah will look into our deeds tonight and he will forgive us all. And that is not what I say. It is what Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says. On this night, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he went to Baqiyah, the graveyard in Medina, and then Aisha followed him. She thought he was going to some of his other wives. But when she had seen him going to the graveyard, she came back home running. And the Prophet returned, and he saw her feeling like this, shaking. And then she said, I thought, Prophet, you have gone to, other, to, to some of your wives, and you left me alone. He said, no. Tonight is the night of middle of Shaman. Tonight Allah forgives for, I mean, forgives the Muslims 
and he will shower forgiveness like the number of uh, of the of the hair of the of the cattle of Bani Ish, uh, Bani Thor. It was a big, it was a big uh, tribe. They have cattle, they have sheep. So Allah will give and show it forgiveness numbered with the hair of those cattle and sheep. So it, it means Allah will show it his forgiveness on us all, on all the Muslims. And that's to prepare us for the months of Ramadan. Do you know why Allah is forgiving this Muslims in this month of Holy Shaban? It is because of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has said Rajab Shahrullah and Shaban Shahri. Shaban is the month of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. When Shaban comes, Prophet used to be very happy. Very, very, very happy. And he used to go to his companions, his mates, and tell them that Look, there is a month of Ramadan approaching. It's a month where Nafila is like a fart, becomes like a fart in Ajr. It's a month where all the devils will be in chains. It's a month when Allah will forgive everyone. And the Prophet Sallam one day رغم أنف امرئ أدرك رمضان ولم يغفر له. That someone is cursed, is poor, if he, you see, if he, if he doesn't fast Ramadan, if he does not, you see, forgiven in Ramadan. So Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم is teaching us how to celebrate the coming of this holy month. So tonight is a big night, brothers and sisters. We have to stay tonight until Fajr and make zikr and ask forgiveness. So that may Allah forgive all our deeds of the whole year. And that may Allah make us reach Ramadan healthy and receive Ramadan healthy and, and, and receive Ramadan in piety and that we pray to Allah that he may combine all the Muslim, bring all the Muslim together, bring their hearts together and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the spirit of his Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa and that the spirit of all the Shaykh and the spirit of Mawlana the Shaykh May Allah bring us all together. May Allah fulfill our wishes. May Allah guide us to the right path. And may Allah forgive our sins. And may Allah, inshallah, make us fast Ramadan, healthy and wealthy and peacefully. And the whole Islamic Ummah, inshallah, I will call it this. 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 إنه هو الغفور الرحيم والحمد لله رب العالمين اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد الفاتح لما أغير والخاتم لما سبق ناصر الحق بالحق والهادي إلى صراطك المستقيم وعلى آله وصحبه حق قدره ومقداره العظيم تكبير الحمد لله الحمد لله الذي وبنعمته وجلاله تجمع الصالحات
and sisters, Alhamdulillah. Shaykh Dr. Hashim, Fajazakallahu anna kulla khairin, wa asallah ta'ala an yaj'ala hazil kalima fi mizani hsanatik. Brothers and sisters, I'm not going to summarize, but I will choose a few words, a limited words from the life of our noble Imam. As we know, he has born from the two noble family. Brought up by his grandfather, Sheikh Al Islam, Khalifa Al Sheikh Ahmad Tijan, Bila Munaza. He has memorized the Quran from the early age, the age of 10. In very early age, he became alim before even he left Egypt. One of the closest human beings to the heart of Sheikh Ibrahim Sheikh, your presence today is one of the symbols or shine of or example that Sheikh Ibrahim radiallahu ta'ala anhu he was a great leader. Sheikh Imam Hassan after he completed his study from Egypt he came to London in the early 70s and studied and graduated from the London University. By that time you can count the followers of Tijani in London in your fingers. What about today? Alhamdulillah Rabbul Alameen. was a great alim, who was a role model to every Muslim without having any boundary of frontier between, between the two. As far you give him shahada, you are his brother or sisters. I will brief I conclude my word about his last days in life. I was one of those who had been blessed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to meet him about a few weeks ago in Paris. Everybody knows Sheikh Imam was connected to Europe, especially in Scandinavia. But for the past 12 years, he hasn't visited the Scandinavian countries. This year he decided to visit and renew his relationship and to tell them goodbye, my mission has completed. I received his call when he was in Denmark and asked me to meet him in Paris. Also, when he completed his mission to the Scandinavia, he passed to Morocco and gave his ziyara and wida 
to Sheikh Ahmadiyyan radiallahu ta'ala anhu. He went to Libya and visited all the Zawiyah of the followers of Tijaniya. That was last month. The first and last one, he organized a big gathering in West African Maurud in Abidjan. As soon as he arrived in Medina, he called his younger brother, who came to the as his Khalifa, and gave him a phone of half a million dollars to complete the masjid of Sheikh Ibrahim radiallahu ta'ala anhu. One of his gatherings, he witnessed, Alhamdulillah, whatever Allah has decided now, is khairun. Because Allah has guaranteed me to live 63 years, which is the life of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa Also, Allah has given me chance to spread the da'wah. Thousands of people has converted to me with the tawhid of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I believe my Sheikh has blessed me. Whatever Allah has decided now, I welcome his decision. He was prepared, his coffin and his burial place three years before he passed away. Within half an hour, he started complaining his chest. His last word was Ashahad. Alhamdulillah. This is an example and symbol of Salihin. May Allah bless us from his blessing. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Alhamdulillah. Inna lillahi wa inna ilaihi rajmin. I mean, we could have spent the whole night talking about this venerable Sheikh, you know, Hassan, and we will never finish his deeds, his good deeds. But according to the teachings of the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, when a person approaches that, please sit by his side and remind him of the good deeds he did, he did in, on earth. Sheikh Hashan, born in 1945 in the very hands of our venerable Sheikh Maulana Sheikh Ibrahim Yassir. When Maulana Sheikh Ibrahim delivered Maulana Sheikh Hassan Sisi, he said to his father, Sidi Ali, come here, Allah has blessed us with, with a child. And this child will sign like a signing star. And the whole world will see. That's why the day they told Maulana Sheikh Ibrahim that Sheikh Hassan has an accident and he died. Medina was completely sambula and everybody went crazy. Maulana Sheikh Ali Sise, his father, could not walk, could not get up from his seat. Maulana Sheikh Ibrahim said, go and bring Maulana Sheikh Ali Sise to me. They went and brought him. He closed the door, two of them in the room. He told him something. And Sheikh Ali Sise got up walking again, quite free and well. After some years, Malana Sheikh Hassan was riding in a car with his grandfather, Malana Sheikh Ibrahim. And Malana Sheikh Ibrahim said to Sheikh Hassan, Did your father tell you what I told him when they said that you were there? Malana Sheikh Hassan said, No. He said to him, I told your father that you will live to see me die and you will live to see your father die, and you will succeed him for a very long time. That's a word of guarantee. If anybody, if you don't have guarantee from Allah, you can't do that. Sheikh Hassan was blessed, educated. 
He got, he's a man of integrity, a man of dignity, a man of personality, a kind-hearted man, a man of great knowledge and wisdom, who has spread, two minutes is not enough, who has spread. That's why I wanted us to have an independent place where Sheikh Hassan is not a person that we just will bundle our time with one minute, two minutes. It's, it's very unfortunate. This man has brought the world powers, powers that has thought that technology is the mix of development. He penetrated those countries, America, South Africa, Europe, everywhere, and brought all the inhabitants of those countries to their knees and say, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammad He is the only person who went to Mecca and stood and faced Makama Ibrahim. And there, Allah inspired in him that you should enter Makama Ibrahim. And we know Makama Ibrahim. People don't enter there. It's a fiberglass. So he just turned up and said to the, to the, to the king at the time, I want to enter Makama Ibrahim, please. And it, it was ordered by the king to dismantle Makama Ibrahim and Maulana Sheikh Hassan entered Makama Ibrahim. Yes. Wow. Wow. Il <coughs> 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 Internet, vous Internet, vous pouvez vous dire que vous avez un internet, vous when people gathered together and he saw one of our venerable chefs, Sayyid Mubake, Sayyid Falun Mubake, reading some uh, a kind of summons and uh, telling the people the greatness of Sidi Ali Sise. And he didn't know who Sidi Ali Sise is, so he went to the internet to search who Sidi Ali Sise is, and then that same night he saw the um, obituary of Maulana Sheikh. Then it is say Ashan who went to Barsha to read. But um, friends, Alhamdulillah, let's just no. I mean, it can't go because I mean it, the time is against us. We we have to respect the people who give us this place. They also need the hall to use it. But I would say say Asan was the share of this generation. He was the share of this generation. He lived a very noble life, 63 years, and just now we had our brother said that Shahul Shaban is the want of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Yeah, but Shahul Shaban is the month of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. If Shahban is the month of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and say Hassan lived for 63 years, which is the exact number of the in the um, age of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and he died in this Sabbath. What that? What, what does that mean? He told me, Shaykh Ashan told me here in London. This is the place where he studied after completing his education. 